Okay, so we've basically got this spinner and spun it a number of times. Well, let's work out how many times we've spun it. So it's landed on black 40 times, it's landed on blue 30 times, and it's landed on red 15 times. So we've spun it 85 times. Okay, we've had 85 trials with this spinner so far. Now, with this information, we can work out the theoretical probability, or sorry, experimental probability, of it landing on a red. Now, experimental probabilities is basically probabilities we get from doing experiments. Okay, now it lands on red 15 times, and we spun it 85 times. So the experimental probability is 15 over 85. Now it says it's going to be spun another 500 times, and we have to estimate roughly how many times it will land on a red. And the way we do that is get the experimental probability, which we've worked out from our experiments on the table which is this table here and all you need to do is just times that by 500 and that's it so I'm going to use my calculator 15 over 85 times by 500 and it gives me the answer of 88.235 blah 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 and I'm just going to round that down to 88 now, it's important you give a whole number for this because it can't land on a red 88.2 times. Now, in the exam, they are quite um, forgiving about whether you round it or not in most of the exams, but you'll always get the mark if you do round it. Sometimes I can imagine they could word the question in a way that if you don't round it to a whole number, to an integer, then you might lose a mark.